Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Inside South Florida. Thank you so much for watching. Awesome show for you guys today because up first, she is back. One of horror's biggest stars, Jamie Lee Curtis, is reprising her famous role as Laurie Strode in Halloween Kills, slashing its way into theaters Friday, October 15th. And I sat down with the legend where she told me what's in store for Laurie and if this time they finally end Michael once and for all. In 2018, Halloween, a sequel to the original 1978 classic, was released with Jamie Lee Curtis making her triumphant return as Laurie Strode, survivor of serial killer Michael Myers over 40 years ago. Now she's back, ready to take on the masked one once again in Halloween Kills. You know, 2018's movie Halloween really focused on Laurie's experience. Yes. Where do we find Laurie now and the people of Haddonfield who are the collateral damage, if you will, of Michael's wrath? Okay, so you basically should just come out to California and do all of my press for me because what you just said is what the movie is. The collateral damage is that everybody focuses on Lori. Lori's trauma, Lori's fear, Lori's survival. But the truth is, those two little kids that she was babysitting in 1978, the nurse who was Dr. Loomis's assistant, even Sheriff Brackett, whose wow. daughter Annie is killed in the 1978 movie, all of those people survived and all of those people carry the same badge of trauma that Lori does. So the, David Gordon Green and Danny McBride were so um, prescient to understand that collective rage <laughs> was gonna be a thing. Right. And they, you know, this was written way before collective rage became the thing. And so I think that they just wanted to focus on the collateral damage, as you so eloquently put it, of trauma and what Michael Myers wrought. For Jamie, Halloween Kills represents the state of the world in which we live today. Our imitating life, communities of people rising up in the face of fear and adversity. What do we do? We fight. Let's hunt him down. These movies are supposed to stimulate people. If we're not stimulating ideas and expanding ideas, then I'm not sure what we're doing. Um, you know, the 2018 movie, uh, talked a lot about female trauma, and then we saw a lot about female trauma come after it, or like right at the same time with the Me Too movement. Obviously, uh, 2020 was a year of a lot of collective rage, people saying, I am mad as hell and I am not gonna take it anymore. It's also a movie about family. So in this new movie, Laurie and her daughter and her granddaughter that we saw come together in that wonderful moment at the end of the 2018 movie of the gotcha, yeah. Judy Greer, that wonderful moment. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. Gotcha, boom. For over 40 years, Lori Strode has been one of the most tormented yet courageous women's, women in horror. What is your wish for Lori? To kill the blank. I can't say it on television, but to finish what she started that she understands the only way she can have salvation, the only way she can have peace of mind is to end it with him. Evil dies tonight. You wanna kill someone? Take me! Michael! I wanna take his mask off and see the life leave his eyes. 